So in today's video, I want to talk about the latest update to Space Marine 2. I know there's a lot of talk about this, and I just want to share my experience of this latest patch. I've been playing it now for the last 24 hours, jumping into operations, jumping into PvP, and I just want to share what I've got from this patch, how I feel about this patch, and how I feel with the direction of the game, where the game's going to um, at this moment in time. Everything I'm about to say is my personal opinion. Um, don't take this video as a rant. That is not the intention. I absolutely love Space Marine 2. I've been waiting for this game for the past 13 years. Everyone who's tuned into my channel over the past years know how much of an advocate I've been to getting this sequel made, um, hyping this game up because I wanted it. I've wanted it for so bloody long long but that doesn't change the fact like when i see something that's bad i'm going to talk about it and share that opinion so hopefully the game gets improved because the last thing i want is this game to die out i want this game to be the best thing ever since the emperor picked rogel dawn to be the praetorian of terror right the favorite primark the most loved primark the most loyal primark so let's jump in and let's get waffling so first things first at the time of recording this video i have 270 plus hours into space marine 2 completed the campaign done it via co-op um, all the hardest difficult uh done all the operations missions um on the hardest difficult uh, except ruthless i think i'm about five out of uh, seven missions on ruthless at this moment in time pvp um leveled every character to max got them all to first captain and stuff like that so i think i i have a platform to talk from experience with space marine 2 i'm sure some people will disagree with that but i like to think that i've got a lot of knowledge of what is happening in space marine 2 and what is happening um in space marine 2 and i think with the latest patch i think we're heading in a direction now where the game itself, and I'm going to use this word a lot in this video, is becoming very unfun. Now, I play video games to have fun. I love to have fun in video games. There's certain video games out there that are very, very challenging. And um, one of the opinions that I've been using a lot with this latest patch after playing it, um, like I streamed last night and we were talking about this, is that the, the game feels very very dark souls-esque at this moment in time where if you make one mistake it's basically over for your character it's like you lose all your armor all your health and you hardly ever recover from that and as someone who just wants to jump in and experience like what this game was supposed to be for me from the start was a hack and slash game that's what space marine one was that's what i thought space marine two was and space marine two was a hack and slash game until some of these latest patches where i think the pendulum from you know balance and stuff like that has swung into more of you know um it's it's a difficult game and for me personally i think the majority of the people who play space marine 2 are the casual player and i think um there's a small part of the community that want the big ruthless epic game modes and that's fine you have the ruthless game mode but i think what's happened now by adding some of the system elements to make the game more difficult for that um element of the people who want the game to be more difficult that's trickled down and it's a starting to affect the casual play this reminds me right no pun intended this reminds me of Warhammer 40,000. You know my thoughts on Warhammer 40,000. I definitely think it's more of a competitive um, edition, 10th edition. And the element of that has trickled down now. And I personally think it's starting to take the fun away from the casual player. And I think this is what's happening with Space Marine 2. The element of fun is slowly being taken away. Like, as a Space Marine, as you can, as well, I, well, I'm not technically a Space Marine. As a Space Marine, I wish I was a Space Marine. Well, maybe I wouldn't. But, you know, uh, I'm a huge Space Marine fan. So the idea of me as a Space Marine is this gene-enhanced super soldier. Like, we are the tippity top of the Emperor's soldier. Maybe there's some arguments there for custodians and stuff like that. But that's another subject for another day, okay? You know, we were sent into the stars to take them back in humanity's name, right? We are we are the cream of the crop, the Primarchs, our gene fathers, right? We, we were sent out there. So when I 
have this experience of playing Space Marines, I want to charge into hordes of enemies, into Xenos, bring them down, rip them apart, bash their brains against rocks, ruin them in the Emperor's name. But the more I've been playing this game over the last 24 hours, it feels like I'm just a guardsman in a paper suit. Like, I'm getting shot from certain areas and it's taking me down and ruining it. Like, I'm losing all my arm and it takes so long to get my armor back. And I'm technically, like, hiding around a corner. As a space marine, I'm hiding. I'm, I'm a coward. I'm basically role-playing as an iron warrior in space marine 2 it's absolutely awful right just so i can get some armor back i don't want that experience i want to be charging forward ripping things apart i know if you execute stuff you know you get your armor back and stuff like that. that's what i'm trying to do but it seems like they've made the mobs hit so hard and so just 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 so much it, 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 it's like you don't have a chance and i feel like that is really taking the element of fun away from this game i want the game to be fun i want it to be amazing yes i know you have to have that fine balance of fun and um, um uh, and difficulty so it's not like you're just running through mobs and they're all just dying because that makes it too easy then and i think that takes away from the um, the fun itself but like i said i think the pendulum has swung in one direction now where the game now with this patch just feels very unfun and i just want to make this clear in this video as well like i'm not trying to say make this game noob friendly like make it like the most easiest thing since you know fighting an iron warrior player because man, i don't want that i do like a challenge but i definitely think you have to have a balance between fun and difficulty and i keep saying this the pendulum has definitely swung in this patch to be very very unfun and i just i just don't think i'll return to operations um until they start tweaking this a little bit more and bring that experience back which makes you feel like a space marine again i just want to feel like a space marine i want to march out onto the battlefield and purge enemy after enemy and, uh, and stuff like that i've said this a lot on my stream and I know there's some counter arguments to this. I don't think um, making the mobs take more damage makes the game more difficult. I think that makes it more frustrating. For me, I think the massive improvement what they could do is the higher level you play, the more enemies you actually encounter and we've seen this in the patch as well they've actually implemented this and again i'll tip my cap to this like now sometimes a ravener and a lick to spawn together and i think that makes it a lot more difficult a lot more fun i welcome that kind of difficulty but to have like four warriors where they take each i don't know like four or five melter shots each to bring down i don't i, I don't rate that at all i think what they should be doing is giving us 10 warriors where they take, you know, a couple of melter shops each, but you're absolutely getting overwhelmed by the bulk of the enemies. This is what Tyranids are, right? They consume, they overrun their enemies just by their sheer numbers. And I don't think we're seeing that. Maybe that's down to, of course, um, hardware issues. They can't put a lot on the screen. I know that's what a lot of people were saying to me. But if they can figure out to put even more enemies in the game and make it difficult that way, rather than just you know increasing their hp i think that could be a really big change a really fun change to the game as well because it you know you're wading through more enemies slicing them hacking them down that kind of stuff that is what i want to see as a space marine fan as a space marine player and again i want to say that i applaud the developers when they add stuff like the lethal difficulty because there's a certain player base in this game that wants to be challenged and they now have a place to go where they can be challenged there's certain things in that game mode um like for example limited ammunition right i think that is a great change added to that game mode to that lethal difficulty game mode because that way you can't go back and just you know keep spamming melters and stuff like that it adds an element of more difficulty to that version again i welcome that it's just when the other things start to drip free down into the other modes which i think it makes it more challenging for the average player that is where i don't agree with that stuff um i'll be honest with you completely i'll, I'll hold my hands up and um, reading some of those patch notes as i mentioned like some of the things sounded great on paper um but experiencing them 
um, firsthand um, could completely changed um, my mind. And that's not having a go at the developers. Like, if anything, if any developers are watching this video, I keep saying this, right? I've said it from day one. I think they've made one of the greatest Warhammer 40,000 games there's ever been, right? I'm not being biased in that. I, you know, maybe I have a little bit because I'm a huge Space Marine fan. Um, but Space Marine 2 um, answered everything for me. Like, I love the store. Air. Um, the operations missions um, was great. Um, PvP, there's, 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 there's a little bit to talk about with PvP developers. Um, I mostly play PvP. Like, most of my hours I've been put into PvP. And I do feel like PvP um, is a child that's been left outside. Like, I, as a PvP player... I'm looking through the window, right? Everyone's having dominoes and I'm sat in the back garden when it's raining and I'm just eating mud, right? That is how I feel at the moment. Maybe I'll have to do a separate PvP video um, and, you know, give my thoughts on that because I think there's so much potential for PvP to be one of the lighting beacons for this game, but I don't think it's getting the attention um, it's deserved at this uh, moment in time. But again, that's another subject for another day. Developers, um, I think you've made a fantastic game. Um, if any of you are watching this, again, I, hopefully it's not like coming across as like, God damn developers, how dare you? That's not my intention at all. I'm literally giving you my honest opinion. I don't like what's happened with this patch. I don't think the game is as fun as it once uh, what was. Um, at launch and um if you could maybe just listen to the community or the majority of the community let's see what people are saying maybe i'm wrong at making this video uh, but from people who i've been speaking to um they've had the same um thoughts and outlooks as me is that this patch has just missed the mark it's just yeah it's just a little bit too much and it's taken away from the the element of fun um in this game like a great developer which um, I'm sure these chaps are, right? Like, I'm not trying to lick um, too much um, a Golden Throne at the moment, hopefully. Um, they could come out and say, all right, yeah, you know, hold my, hold my hands up. You know, we, you know, we made a mistake. Um, let's revert some of these changes. Um, and that will show a great developer. A, right, a great developer is someone who listens to its communities, takes the feedback on, and improves the game. And um, hopefully we'll be seeing that in the coming um, weeks and stuff and maybe getting some changes reverted um etc etc and we can all go back um to getting the fun out of the game um as much as we were getting um before but anyway this is enough um waffling from me i just wanted to share my thoughts on this i know a lot of people will call me a shill god damn it varak why not talk about this a little bit more right like my patch video the other day i literally went through the patch and everyone was like oh varak why are you not calling them out i was like the patch just i didn't, I didn't even download the game I didn't even have it installed as I was making the patch video. It was just my reaction to the patch notes. And then when I got to play it, I was like, okay, I need to play this and then get a proper feel of it. And over the past 24 hours, I have. And now this is why I'm making this video, right? But I'm still sure people will call me a shill because I'm overly positive and I'm always, you know, trying to look for the best things um, no matter what, right? Literally, um, the Iron Warriors um, could be made the Emperor's um protectors and i'll try and make like the best case scenario out of it like you know they'll fail um but yeah thank you i don't know that didn't make no sense thanks for coming thanks for watching um have a great day have a great afternoon um, i'm recording this on a friday so if i don't get to see you have a great weekend right enjoy yourself and uh hopefully i'll see you in space marine 2 and we can purge some oh yeah one last thing i know technically this is a pve video but um one last pvp run okay why have you broken the power fist? It it was working as intended, right? Why? Please, I just want a fist. <laughs>